Hey everyone, uh, this is our first video on wages. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do uh, basic hourly wages. So before we can jump into wages, wages are essentially a standard unit rate question. But what makes wages a little bit harder to calculate is that time isn't always given in decimal hours. Often if you've got a timesheet, you're going to have hours and minutes. And people often talk about working for a quarter hour or 15 minutes or what have you. So before we can get into calculating wages, we need to be confident with converting between minutes and decimal hours, both ways. So that's what we're going to start with right here. So before we get in, we should, of course we need to know that one hour is 60 minutes. And then we're going to use this to set up a proportion with 60 minutes per one hour. And then in each of these questions, we're going to know some number of minutes and we're going to have an unknown number of hours. And this is the basic idea of how we can convert between minutes and hours. Now, some of you are gonna memorize these and that's great too. If you know that half an hour is 0.5 or 30 minutes is 0.5 of an hour, that's great. Just go ahead and use it. But if you ever get stuck or you get something weird like 18 minutes or 54 minutes that you don't know how to convert, you can always go back to setting up this proportion to solve. So let's try one. This four hours and 30 minutes, we want to convert into decimal hours only. Now part of this I already know, that four hours is just going to be four point something. Now some of you might know that 30 minutes is 0.5 an hour, that's great. But in, if you didn't know that, you're going to need to set up a proportion to solve that. So we can set up 60 minutes per one hour is 30 minutes to an unknown number of hours. Now, of course, this 30 minutes from the four hours and 30 minutes is the 30 minutes I put up top up here. Then as usual, as we've done in class, roughly 3000 times, you multiply across the diagonal and you divide by the number outside. So if you do 30 minutes times one hour, divide by 60, you get X equals 0.5. And that 0.5 is the 0.5 of an hour that goes with our four hours we already had. So this one here, 15 minutes. The two hours is going to stay as two point, but the 15 minutes we're going to have to convert. So I'll set up a proportion. 60 minutes per one hour is 15 minutes. And again, that 15 minutes came from here that 15 minutes is that 15 minutes per an unknown number of hours. So across multiply and divide, 15 times one divided by 60 gives me x is 0 0.25. And that is our 2.25 hours is our final answer. This one here, 45 minutes, I'll show you two more and then you guys can try the ones underneath. So this one here, we're going to do 9.60 min per one hour is 45 minutes per our unknown number of hours. And when you cross, multiply, and divide, you get 0.75 hours. Now this six minutes is an example of one that you might not have memorized. Most people don't know, you know, your six minutes, your 12 minutes we've got down here just off the top of their heads. So for each of those, you're almost definitely going to need to set up this proportion. And that is A-OK. -okay. 60 minutes per one hour is six minutes per an unknown. And when you cross multiply and divide that, you get 0.1. So this is going to be 3.1 hours. Okay, so pause the video here, then try the next four on your own. And I'll put the answers up in just a sec. Okay, hopefully you tried all four of those questions. This one here should be 1.5. This one here, uh, hours, sorry. This one here should be 11.25 hours. This one here should be 6.75 hours. And this one here should be 2.2 hours. Now on to example two. Example two is the exact same thing, but backwards. In this case, we have our decimal hours and we're gonna convert that into minutes. So this is going to be two hours and some unknown 
number of minutes. So we'll set up a proportion. 60 minutes per one hour is. Now in this case, the two hours, the two hours is good. That's fine. It's the 0.5 hours, that's our big question mark. So to match our proportion, since we have hours underneath here, we need to have our hours underneath on this side as well. And our unknown number of minutes then goes up top. And when you cross, multiply, and divide, you get that x is 30 minutes. Now some of you by now have memorized these and that's fine too. If you have this memorized and you know what 0.75 of an hour, maybe you have your fractions memorized and you know that 0.75 is 3 quarters and you know that 3 quarters of an hour is 45 minutes. So maybe you can go right to 3 hours and 45 minutes. If you can, that's great. If you can't, that's okay. Just set up a proportion and solve. This 0.3 hours though, my guess is not many of you can do that in your head. That's okay, most people can't. So that 0.3 hours, again, we're going to have to set up as a proportion. So 60 minutes for one hour is an unknown for the 0.3 is what we don't know. So 0 0.3 hours we're trying to turn back into minutes. I haven't really emphasized this in this video because we've done this quite a bit in class, but you guys are hopefully noticing that I'm setting up my hours and hours underneath every single time so that they match. And up here in our last question, I set up my minutes and my minutes up top so that they match. Remember, every time you set up a proportion, your tops need to match and your bottoms need to match. So back to this question, we've got 0.3 hours times 60 minutes, and we're dividing by 1, and that gives us 18 minutes. And the 4 hours is cool. We already know that 4 hours is 4 hours, so no conversion necessary. So I'm going to pause the video, or no, you should pause the video uh, here for a second to try these other five. Make sure you can convert those decimal hours back into minutes. Okay, hopefully you're done. Uh, if not, pause. Uh, here are the answers. This one here should be 7 hours, 15 minutes. This one here should be 5 hours, 30 minutes. This one here should be 34 hours and um, oh, whoops, uh, 48 minutes, sorry. Uh, this is 12 hours and six minutes, and this is one hour and 45 minutes. Okay, that's the first part of this lesson. That is time conversion. Next video, I'll show you guys how to calculate wages.